When our work is done, Dame Cousin has promised us good ale and white bread. If she keep not her promise, I will be through her head. Where good stale ale is, I will drink no water. <sighs> but it will be dark night before my work shall be done. They speak of cousins which does my heart good. To hear her name does comfort my blood. Sit down to your work, Tibbet, like a good girl. Nurse, meddle you with your spindle and your word. No haste but good, Mads mumble cut. For hurry and word, the old proverb just say never made good birth. If you will sit down to your work and on, I trust. Soft fire make it sweet malt, good Madge mumble cut. And sweet malt make it jolly good ale for the gnome. Which fly down the lane without any bones. <laughs> oh, brown bread crumbs must have good mumbling, but good ale down your throat as easy tumbling. Ere I heard little mouse, shall I not rejoice that she shall dwell in my house? <laughs> Thanks to God. So your work. Stand still, your tongue be not lame. <laughs> and though your teeth be gone, both so sharp and so fine, yet your tongue can run on patterns as well as mine. Me, we're not not made kids talk of hate. Does my talk grieve you? Alas, God save your grace. <laughs> Him. Well, so is my good Tibbet talk of haze. Oh, honey, Miss Lovely, I don't understand haze. He with a sword she keepeth, that must be my wife. <laughs> Shall I not, when I have her, lead a merry life? Come here, my good wench, and sit here by me, just. And how doth our old bell down here, Madge Mumblecrust? Try and find fault and threaten to complain. I did neither try nor complain nor threaten. Would grieve my heart to see one of them beaten. I did but bid her work and hold her peace. And so would I if you could your clamoring cease. But the devil cannot make old crone hold her tongue. <laughs> then will I in again. <laughs> Here I found you together, and here I leave you twain. <laughs> and I will be not long after Tim Tucker Tate. What's the matter? You used to the man all we spake. And have heard all that ever we spake together. Marry the one or see if I can come in hither. Now would I speak with them if I knew what to say? We will both go off and see what he is. I did it for no harm, but out of good love I bear your day, Mistress Cuffin. I did your talk here, and, uh, Mistress Nurse, I would kiss thee for acquaintance. I come along, sir. <gasps> <laughs> 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 and when I came, Cuffin saw this business. God will be served. I have not so much, I know not when. Nay, yeah, since I was born to such a gay gentleman. I will kiss thee too, good maiden, if I might. Oh, no, for two, by your leave, you shall not kiss me. Oh, yes, I will, be not fear. Why should I fear you? You are but a man that I know very well. Uh, why then? For two, for, for I will not. I use not to kiss men. I would fain kiss thee too, good maiden, if I might. For what need? Why, to honor thee by this light, I used to kiss all them that I love, I make out a vow. Yea, sir, I pray you. When did you last kiss your cow? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might be called to kiss me if you were wise. What promotion lies there in me? Nurse is not so nice. Well, I have not been taught to kissing and licking. Yet I thank thee, nurse, thee made no stick. Oh. <laughs> I do not stick for a kiss with such a man as you. They and their mothers. I will again to my sewing now. Tidings. Uh, Ho, tidings. Say, cousin, greet as you well. Who? Me? You, sir, no, sir, I do no such tale tell. No. Oh, but I'm sure you mean here. Your mistress, cousin, and mine must speak with your grace. With me, you must come into her out of all doubt. I work not half done. A mischief on all love. 
Ah, good, sweet nurse. A good, sweet, gentle nurse. Tell me, how does sweet cousin, my heart of gold, tell me how? Well, she does very well, sir, and she makes me to you. To me? Yes, yeah, to you, sir. To me, nurse, tell me plain, to me. <laughs> that world meant to be alive again. Well, she commended me to someone yesterday where it was. Oh, that was he and none other by his man. Oh, I cannot tell you surely. Oh, oh, but it was someone. <laughs> it was I and none other. This cometh to good pass. I promise thee, nurse, I do favor her. So, so. Bid her sue to me for marriage. Oh, me so, sir. And surely for thy sake she shall speak. <laughs> I shall be contented to take her. Insert, but at thy request and for thy sake. Oh, Come, hearken I hear what to say. <laughs> 